Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I you know I usually do like hair videos or tutorials or whatever, but I want my page to be more about everything than hair. You know, I just want to talk about my personal life, hair, my lifestyle, different things going on outside of YouTube. So, I don't know, it's really been on my heart to talk about my college anxiety. And this meaning different things that I've been nervous about or scared about while being in college and different things that I feel like other college students do worry about. And I just want to give you my personal thoughts and maybe it'll help somebody out there. Let me like stop and look away from the camera. I'm babysitting and my three month old niece is right behind the camera so so I can watch both of you guys. <laughs> I got my notes. So first thing when anybody's going into college there's anxiety. You know you might be ready, you might be ready to move out the house, you might be ready to leave your high school, ready to start the new chapter of your life and yes it's exciting but it's also scary. You're scared that high school is or college is different from high school. Work wise, friend wise, you know, living wise, everything. College is way more responsibility. I am a good student. I always got good grades in high school, elementary school, middle school, everything. But a lot of people say that a lot of people who got good grades in high school may not necessarily get good grades in college. And people who did not get good grades in high school may do very well in college because they're used to working hard. They're used to having to put in more work to get the good grades. And the work from high school is different than the work from college. It's harder. And that's what you expect when you're moving up uh, education level. So I was worried that I wouldn't do well. I was worried that it would be too different, that I wouldn't be able to get in the swing of things and actually get good grades in college like I did in high school and every other level. But I got there and you just have to learn to adjust yourself. I was so ready to move out, but then again, it was kind of scary because I've never been out of my house, you know, like I've never lived somewhere else. And I don't know, it's like, am I ready? And you just kind of figure it out along the way. That's it. Like, you just figure it out. A lot of people go to college with friends. You know, people from your school who are going to the same college and you see them on campus. So you know that you're not completely alone, but that wasn't my situation. I went to Oakland University. Well, I go to Oakland University and I knew no other person from my school going there. During orientation, I saw one person from my school and luckily it was somebody that I actually knew well enough to say hi to and see around and say hi. But we weren't really close. So it wasn't really that big of a difference. I still felt really alone. And I, I'm a Gemini. And I don't know if this is true about a lot of Geminis, but it's true about me. I feel like I do have different personalities and not in a crazy way but just my mood can switch and when I'm around people I know and I'm around friends I am the craziest person you will meet. I will be the one standing on top of the table singing at the top of my lungs making a fool of myself and think it's funny in front of people who just look at me weird and I just like to have fun and laugh and I don't care what other people think about me. But then you have Shy Michaelin where I don't go up to people first. I don't make friends with people first. Most of the friends that I have, they initiated, probably all of the friends I have, they initiated the conversation and they initiated an interest in getting to know who I am. And that's how our friendship started. So that's what really scared me. Going there with nobody and not being able to step out of my comfort zone and actually walk up to people and meet them. And that was a 
big problem when I got there. When you have roommates, you go to the first few events of the school year with your roommates because you really don't know anybody else, but that's when people start branching off and finding their friends. And, like, I didn't. And it's kind of embarrassing, but the first semester of my freshman year, my only friends were my two sweet mates. And they were more so friends and I just kind of tagged along. So, this is embarrassing. But I had no friends. I didn't. I went to class and I went back to my room. I went to the cafe, got takeout, and went back to my room. I was pretty much alone all first semester and it was hard because I go from high school being president of National Honor Society and the leader over our freshman mentoring program and in all advanced classes where it's pretty much the same people in all your classes and I knew a lot of people and I have friends and they're like oh you're crazy you're so much fun you're so outgoing and I'm like yeah sure because I know you guys so when I got to college, it was completely different, and I felt so alone. All my friends were at different colleges, and they were busy, just as busy as I am, or we were too far away to actually link up, so I was alone. I went to Oakland University, my boyfriend went to Michigan State, and that's about a two-hour drive, depending on how you drive, and it sucked. Because he was doing his own thing. He's in college. He's experiencing things. And he went to college with two of his best friends. So they were always doing fun stuff. And, you know, he'd be out and I'd be in my room. And i want to talk to him. And it started putting a strain on our relationship. And I would be sad because I'm like, okay, well, I'm just sitting in my room by myself while everybody in the world is out having fun. That's how I felt. And I'm a very religious person. And I pray to God for absolutely everything, like everything. And people might think it's excessive, but I don't care because that's what God's for. He's there to hear your needs and your wants and your desires. I was always so used to having friends and having people come up to me and want to be my friend. I don't know why, but, but I was just used to that happening. And it didn't in college. And yeah, I could have just went out, stepped out of my comfort zone, and went and made friends but it wasn't it's i mean there's a lot of things that we can do every day to step out of our comfort zone and make our life into what we want it to be but it doesn't happen a few might but reality it doesn't happen sounds good but it doesn't happen and it's so funny because a week later i had posted a tweet that said i'm bored I need some friends on Oakland. And this girl tweeted me back and it's like, I'll be your friend. And I'm like, aw, okay, you know. But I'm just thinking, oh, this is a sweet girl. You know, she seen me being sad and lame. She's like, oh, I'll just be your friend. But on a college campus, you might meet people on social networks that you never see on campus. We came back in January for the second semester of classes and Who's in my class but the girl that I met on Twitter? And after we became friends, she actually told me that that was a last minute change into that class and she was the, actually the last one to get into that class because it dropped. Look at God. She introduced me to another friend and come to find out they had this whole group of friends. About It was about five of them who did everything together. I'm always done well with a small group of good friends and then just talking to other people. So, <clears throat> I met the one girl. She introduced me to another girl. They just introduced me to um, these twins. And then they also had another friend, which was a guy. And the guy that they introduced me to, I actually knew from Twitter before freshman year started. And we were really cool. We talked all the time. And we hung out a couple of times, but, you know, never really close. What? 
a year and a half later, we're inseparable. Inseparable. And it all stemmed from one girl and one tweet and one prayer. So, I have friends. And through having friends, I've met so many people because these women and men that I met are very outgoing they know everybody so they introduce me to everybody and we go out and we have fun and now everybody's like you're crazy like we remember seeing you on campus and she's like she's so quiet and she looks mean but you're one of the nicest people we know and you're insane and I'm like yeah I know lastly it's scary to think about what's next being a psychology major, I pretty much have to go to grad school because you can't really do anything with a bachelor's degree in psychology. What am I going to specialize in? What school am I going to go to? How do I know it's a good school? How do I know that it's good enough to get me a job when I get out of school? I'm scared of leaving my friends and having to start all over and going to a different school. How am I going to pay for grad school and seven years of school to get my PhD? Like, how am I going to do all this? I don't even know where to start. Like, what requirements are there to even get into grad school? Like, it's scary. I'm a semester ahead and I only have a year and a half left instead of two years. So most people have a little time. They can start getting into figuring out what they want to do. But, you know, no big deal right now. I only have a year and a half. And college flies. It's like telling you that story about freshman year. It's like that just happened yesterday. So time flies. And it's like time's going to continue to fly. What am I going to do when time is up and it's time to make a decision? And that's what's scary to me. All I can do is trust in God. Because... As humans, we like to control everything. And we like to know that everything's going to work out. And when you're not sure about the future, you're not sure if it's going to work out or what step to take next, it's scary. It is. And some people like to pretend like they have it all together, but everybody goes through this. Everybody has that anxiety about making friends and being good enough for the schoolwork and what's next. I'll continue to do updates about my college life and college career and what's next, but I just want to come and share some anxiety that I have about college. So maybe you can relate to somebody else. Even though you're scared, even though you're not sure what's next or how it's going to work out, it will work out. And just show you that you can be the most shy person ever and you can find friends and you can settle into your college life and not be scared. You just got to give it some time, give it some hard work and it'll happen. So I'm not going to tell you to be scared because you're going to be scared. And I feel like being scared is what pushes us to make a change. Just don't be scared enough to stop it from to let it stop you from going to college or to enjoying your college life or working hard to achieve your goals even though you're not sure how you're going to achieve them. So, I just wanted to come and share. Uh oh, I gotta go guys. Mwah.